All right, you guys, we are rigged right up. We got the GoPro on there. We got the flashlight. Everything looks like it should work, man. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out here once again. As you can kind of tell here, we are back on the old t docks And today we're gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. Now, if you guys seen our very last video at this spot, we actually tried to attach a GoPro to my rope and point it at the magnet. I was using the GoPro Hero 5. Now today, I bought me the GoPro Hero 9 and I also bought an underwater flashlight. It's like one of them special scuba diving flashlights. And I'm gonna duct tape that thing to the rope with the GoPro. So we should be set to go. I see no reason why this shouldn't work this time. All right guys, so we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right down to it. We're gonna strap this GoPro onto this rope and we're gonna see if this works. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or you wanna pick up a magnet, the links will be down in the description, guys. All right, guys, this should be everything we need right here. We got us an underwater flashlight, we got us our GoPro, and we got us the old waterproof duct tape. I have no clue if this is gonna work, you guys, but it should, man. This light is super bright, you guys. First things first, let's bust out our GoPro here. I got me the old protective case on there in case we knock on a bunch of stuff on there we're hitting on a bunch of stuff now i don't know how i want to rig this up because this is a pretty heavy setup here you guys this is like almost as heavy as the magnet first things first we gotta duct tape the heck out of this thing you guys this is a 50 dollar flashlight so i don't want to lose this thing same thing with the gopro we're talking we're talking a, like a what, four, it was $500 when I bought the thing. So $500 GoPro and a $50 flashlight. If this thing gets snagged up down there and we lose it, ho oh, ho, that's gonna be expensive. You guys, I think this is really gonna work, man. If we got this flashlight, boom, pointing right at it. It should be able to uh, light up everything down there. And then once we attach this, man, I don't know. Duct tape her so she stays on. And we're good to go, you guys. All right, you guys, we are rigged right up. We got the GoPro on there. We got the flashlight. Everything looks like it should work, man. Oh, why are you doing that? See, it keeps turning on and off. Don't do that. No, on, off, on, off. No, 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 just on. That's all we need. All right, you guys, here we go. The moment of truth. There goes $600 tossed into the river. <laughs> Or it's even more than that. You're talking $50 flashlight, uh, $500 GoPro, and a $200 magnet. You're talking almost $800. Holy smokes, man. We better not get snagged and lose this sucker. First throw is just going to kind of be a little, a little test here. Sucker feels super heavy now, though, with all this camera and everything duct taped on there so i can't really tell if i got anything on there or not now uh it doesn't look like a whole lot on our first throw there you guys a little nail looks like maybe a little beer cat the old ngd and a little scrap piece but we're still rigged up here we didn't lose nothing so that's good Dude, let's get back down there Ooh, that was something right there. Kind of next to this pillar here. Ooh, no, don't come off. I can feel it. It's like we're sticking to it, but it doesn't want to pull up out of the mud or something, you guys. Hopefully we're picking that up on the camera down there, but whatever that is does not seem like it wants to move. Oh, we do have something on there though. Heck yeah, you guys, no way. Look at what it is, man. It's a it's a fishing pole or like a fishing reel button. This is the button part. You click this in and you whew, cast your pole. Huh, I wonder if we were clicking onto a pole down there then. That sucker looks pretty old too, you guys. Look at the color and design on there. That thing's gotta be old. All right, you guys, and we are still rigged up, man. Flashlight's still going. Hopefully we, we're catching some stuff on the camera there.
Oh, look at what's hanging off of there. Oh, I just dropped it back in the water. Yep. I bet you I caught that on the GoPro though before I dropped it, dude. It was the tip of a fishing pole. But I dropped that sucker right back in the water, you guys. Other than that, looks like a little screw on there. Oh, look at, no way. We caught us another fishing spoon. And this one here actually looks kind of red and white under there. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's the old daredevil colors. Once again, you guys, slap a new hook on there and you're going fishing. The old cash money. Guys, I didn't even think there was really much on there. I just seen a bunch of this fish line and a couple, couple of these little seaweeds on there. But look at this, man. Look at what we just found. It's like a key with like a part of a lanyard on there. What is that on the, is that like a bullet? It almost looks like they, a bullet that they drilled a hole through in order to make this. That's kind of cool. We got the old golden key. I wonder what that bad boy unlocks. And we got a bunch of this fishing line out of there once again, you guys. I'm sure there's tons of this stuff down there. Oh my goodness, look at what's stuck on the side of there, you guys. Heck yeah, look at that one, dude. That one's actually in pretty good condition. Usually when I find these cans, you guys, they're completely chewed right out. Look at that sucker. The old Miller High Life. The only thing rusted out here is the little seam, and that seems to happen on almost all of them. Other than that, you guys, there's a little hole in the bottom here. It almost looks like this guy shotgunned this beer. He poked a little hole in the bottom, and gook, 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 that is cool. Feels like I'm pulling on something there. Probably some fishing line, I would guess. Oh, I don't know though. I can't quite tell. To be honest, that feels like we actually have something. What is going on? No, nope, just a bunch of fishing line again, you guys. Yep, look at a big old bundle of fishing line. Oh, there is something on there though. Hold on. Look at. Yup, you guys, check it out. We got us the old fingernail clippers. And look at, wrapped up in the fingernail clippers is a big old bundle of some more fishing line. Holy cow, you guys, we have found so many pairs of these fingernail clippers here, it's crazy. There you go, cut your nails off. Oh, something on there again. Dude, is that another can? It is, you guys. Holy cow, man. Look at that one. That one's super beat up, though. What is that one, the old Budweiser? Holy cow, you guys. That one's definitely not going on the shelf. Definitely not even close to the condition of this one, you guys, but still pretty cool. Oh, that one smacked the dock pretty good, dude. I gotta quit doing that. That feels like something right here. I can feel it, but it's not really coming up. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, what is going on here, guys? Feels like something, is it? I don't know. 
Yup, dude, no, really. Holy cow, you guys, I got another can, man. And again, dude, whoa, this one's in really good condition. The old Schlitz, dude, this one looks like it just came off the shelf. Even the seam isn't even chewed out on that one, you guys. Look at that. Now that's pretty cool, man. Look at, famous since 1849. It's crazy how preserved it was. I mean, especially when you look at this one, you compare it to this one. Look at that sucker. I can't believe this thing is still rigged up, you guys. It still looks like it's working. I don't know if we're picking up any footage or not but it's still on there oh right there it feels like something right here again it's almost like i landed right on top of that sucker oh oh no 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 did it just come off what the heck was that yeah it felt like it just came right off there was something there Yeah, we just like landed right on it again. What is this? Oh, is that it? Yeah, there's something here, guys. I can feel it. I wonder if you can see it on the camera, but it does not want to, it don't want to come up. Come on. It's moving. Whatever it is, I think I'm dragging it here. No. Oh no, it's going to come off. It's gonna come off. Or is it? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, uh, uh oh. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm stuck. Huh. Dude, I can see what it is, but I can't quite get it. Holy cow. Let me go down here and see if I can get it, you guys. Oh my gosh, this sucker's stuck way under the dock. Huh. I don't know if I can get it. Uh, it's stuck. What is it stuck on? All right, look it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can get it. Oh, nope. I can't. I can grab the chair, but I can't get it. It's stuck on something. Oh, I got it. No way. I got it. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. Look it. This sucker was snagged good. I don't know what it was stuck on, but I got her. Holy cow, you guys, check this one out. We got the old lawn chair here, and it doesn't look like there's any fishing lures snagged up in that one. And I did see a little something else on there, you guys. Yup, check that out. We got the old, I think that's a cat fishing bell. It's time for dinner. Nope, it doesn't even look like we're recording anymore, guys. I don't even think I caught that one on the camera. Whoa, what was that? Did we just stick to something down there, or am I just feeling things? Yeah, I'm just feeling things. Oh, shit. Matt, we smacked that sucker. Ooh, I think I might have like just landed on something, you guys. Yeah. Like as soon as we threw it. Ooh, this sucker's heavy too. Heck yeah. I wonder if we caught that sucker on the camera. Whoa. What the heck is this here, guys? Um, <laughs> what the heck is this, man? Look at this thing. It almost just looks like a, like a rock. That is a funky looking rock, man. That thing is super magnetic, man. That is really weird. Who knows? Maybe it's the old cash money meteorite. Bingo, buddy. Look at you guys. Our first pair of pliers today, and holy cow, that one is like extremely clean looking. That sucker couldn't, and look at, holy cow, it moves like it was just bought, dude. That thing could not have been down there long. All right, you guys, we got us like a, literally a brand new pair of pliers. Oh. 
Oh, what's that there? Oh, like right next to the pillar. Kind of feeling something here. At least it feels magnetic, ain't it? Oh, there is something on there. Dude, no way, you guys. Whoa. Look at that one, man. That's a super cool looking knife. Is it like a switch blade or does this close? How do you work this thing? Oh, look at You push this right here and this still folds down, you guys. No way. I don't think I've ever seen a pocket knife with a, a handle shaped like that, you guys. That is so cool. I don't see a name or like a brand on there, though, so I don't know exactly what kind this is, but that sucker looks pretty old, you guys. Ooh, that slapped the water. I don't think that went very deep. No, not at all. Oh, whoa. Oh, right there. Kind of felt like I just grabbed something here, guys. Is it? Is there something on there? Kind of feels like it, dude. Heck yeah. Whoa. Couple things going on. No way. Look at you guys. Look at what's on there. Oh, holy cow. Look at, well, first of all, I seen this big old rag dangling off there. I don't know what that is. Maybe a t-shirt or something. Kind of just looks like a rag. Like the old hand wiping fishing rag. But you guys, check this one out. We got us another knife. This one kind of looks like a small steak knife almost. Or like some kind of kitchen knife. That one's definitely not the old pocket knife. And look at, I thought there was something else on there. Yup, look at this here. I know exactly what this is too, you guys. These are like, it's like a fish stringer. Each one of these is supposed to be able to hold a fish and you just dangle this thing in the water and it keeps them alive. If you go magnet fishing and you have a dock in your area, I suggest tossing underneath that sucker. Oh, something I just hit right there. Kind of feels magnetic a little bit. Doesn't really want to come loose though. I'm ripping on something, guys. Where'd it go? We lost her. Oh no, there is still something on there. Whoa. What the heck is this, you guys? What the heck? Um. Is that like a rag? No, it's almost like a plastic. <laughs> what the heck do you guys think this is? It's got like some kind of metal frame piece here. And I don't know what to think of that, you guys. That is really, really weird looking. Oh, <gasps> is this maybe like part of a small purse? Because this part here kind of looks like the part that you would like split apart to open up like a small purse or like a small pouch or something. And then maybe this is part of the purse or the pouch and it's just been down there so long that it's just all raggedy and flimsy. We got us like part of a money pouch or something maybe. I don't know. Plus, you guys, look at this. We got us a big old nail on there. We could build us a house with that one. But look at this thing on here. This uh, little golden tin thing. I've caught a couple of these here and I did a little research. I'm pretty sure this is actually like an air bubble thing that you drop into like a minnow tank and it's supposed to put more oxygen into the fish tank to keep the fish alive longer. Let's see what else we can find. Um, it's almost like I landed on something here. Unless it's fishing line, I feel like I'm pulling on something. Yeah, holy cow, you guys. We got, it looks like a bunch of stuff stuck on there. Look at, look at that, man. Oh, look at what's sticking off the bottom in there. Bunch of fishing line again, of course. 
But look at you guys. Ouch, I just poked myself. We got the old spoon Holy cow, you guys. I don't think you're eating nothing off of that bad boy. Look at that one. How long you think that's been down there? And again, you guys, a couple scrap pieces here, but tons of this fishing line. I'm sure some of these fish get snagged up in this stuff down there because there's got to be tons of it. I am not ready for winter, you guys. It's coming way too fast. Woo! Heard something click pretty good there. I'm sure you guys heard that. Wonder if we caught that on the camera down there. <laughs> I'm not gonna know if that camera is working until we get home, so I really hope it is. Woo! What is this, you guys? Look at this big old thing on there. Oh, <gasps> no way. Look at this. Dude, hold on, let me get this off of here. This thing's all stuck on here. Huh, huh, huh. You guys, look at what this is. It's like a big old hook. I'm pretty sure, what do they call this, a gaff? Or a gaff, I don't know how you say it. But I'm pretty sure this is for like, if you catch a super big fish, it's kind of the same thing as like using a big old net. But they'll take this thing and they'll hook onto a big fish and you can lift it up easier. Holy cow, you guys, look at that. That sucker's gotta be worth some money. That is super cool, you guys. We were only out here for a couple hours, you guys, and I found tons of cool stuff. Are you the YouTube guy? Yeah. Son of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> You're not him. I am. You are? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so glad to see you. Nice to meet you. You're the guy that says... Um, I might not be the one you're talking about, but I'm one of them. Today, guys. Yeah, what's going on today, that's guys? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> finding all kinds of stuff oh in here. Gosh. We pulled in and we saw the truck and we goes, looks like his truck. <laughs> it's the blue wagon. It's <laughs> yeah. so much fun. I gotta get your picture. Yeah, for it. sure. Oh, yeah. So cool. Oh, you're on a roll, huh? Yeah, I'm just about to get out of here. I, I was trying out this uh, GoPro on the rope here, trying yeah. to see if this well, roll works. One, but I, I, I gotta get you. Yeah. <laughs> Rick, you want to get in the picture? <laughs> Come on, we got to do this. Here, we'll go this way. Turn this way behind here. I'm not, probably not the first, eh? <laughs> All right, how's that? One, two, three. Oh, boy, <laughs> so my friends. It's so good to see you. Your beard is right around you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it hits that light, yeah, it's a little... A good share yeah, yeah. Check this out. What are the basic rules about picking up stuff? You got to take some... Oh, my God. Yeah, all kinds of po <laughs> pocket knives and wow, wow. players, all kinds well, of I'm stuff in here. Beginner, you know, so I, I yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, guys, I completely forgot to do an outro while I was out at the dock. So, obviously, I didn't know what the footage was going to look like while I was out at the dock. As you can tell, it really didn't work that great, which is crazy. I'm not sure how the scuba divers get good footage like they do. I'm pretty sure that's all they use, a GoPro and some lights. I think the only other thing that I noticed I could do is maybe slide the GoPro a little bit closer towards the magnet. Maybe I could try a different type of camera. If anybody has any suggestions on how we can make this work, definitely let me know down in the comments. Either way, you guys, we found tons of cool stuff. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap this video up here for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one.